I've got a couple of interesting news for you today. Dell EMC launched much anticipated PowerStore, their new mid-range storage solution with an ability to run virtual machines within the array. Also, HP throws a big upgrade for Nimble Storage DHEI, and HP Simplicity now runs an insane amount of virtual desktops in one U. Let's talk about those. So, let's start with Dell EMC and Power Store. This is the same box that we have used to know under the code name, development code name midrange.next. What we already have kind of been anticipating is that this new storage array will be combining many of the features and characteristics of Dell EMC's existing storage products, and that it delivers. It is combining a lot of features from Xtreme IO, Unity, SC series, etc., etc. It has all these fancy features like NVMe supporting SCM, uh, active active controllers, which is cool. They have improved their data reduction guarantee from 3 to 1 to 4 to 1. Scales out to four appliances in the cluster. Promises 6 nines. However, the underlying hardware architecture is based on RAID 5. How can you achieve six nines with RAID 5? Not quite sure, but hey, I'm not an engineer here, so maybe it's possible. All this is fancy stuff, but what got my attention completely, I, I don't care about anything else, but this something they call apps on. If we talk about, if we think about uh, traditional storage arrays, how they are developed and, and uh, architected and engineered, we have a controller unit Probably we have two of them these days within the controller enclosure for redundancy. And what controller unit is? It is just a powerful server with uh, most of the time Intel Xeons, uh, loads of uh, memory capacity, motherboards, they have network adapters, power supplies. They are just full-blown computers, servers. Um, however, with one difference to modern server environments, we are only running one operating system per one of these controllers or these uh, servers, and that would be the, the array operating system. But what they do with apps on is that instead of directly installing the operating system on the controllers, they are actually doing what we are most of the time doing with our server hardware these days. We are installing hypervisor on the hardware. And then on top of the hypervisor, which obviously in Dell EMC's case is uh, VMware ESXi, uh, then on top of that, they install the PowerStore OS as a virtual machine. And what this means is because it's a full-blown ESX hypervisor, you can then install other VMs to run on top of that uh, hypervisor. And this is why I'm so stoked about it, being a hyperconvergence fan. Now, with typical hyperconvergence, uh, what we get is we get an appliance that comes with CPU, uh, memory, hypervisor and storage capacity. If we want to expand beyond that, we need to buy a, another appliance, another one and so on and so on. So we scale out like this. But with every scaling out step, we get more CPU, more RAM, more storage, etc., etc. However, now, if we have a storage array, a full-blown storage array, which has two of these controller units, aka servers, running ESXi already. And we just run those applications to run on top of that, and then we can scale the storage capacity as we will. So ideally, we wouldn't be needing any more anything else. So we actually, with Dell EMC PowerStore, we wouldn't need uh, additional external uh, hardware anymore to run our applications. We don't need servers anymore. This is not only a storage array, but it's also a hyperconvergence solution. But wait. Apps On is mainly meant for infrastructure and data intensive applications. What does this mean? I don't know. I just have a feeling 
that this one VM that's running the uh, PowerStore OS is actually taking a lot of resources, like, I don't know, tens of percents, half of it, maybe more, maybe 70% of the resources. So you can technically do it, but you can only run a couple of lightweight uh, VMs there and you still need your external servers to run your your other VMs. On paper, PowerStore does scale out to four appliances, but there are two different models of PowerStores. We have the PowerStore T model, which has the dual persona feature. It has the unified file and block. And then we have the PowerStore X, which only supports this apps on the T model doesn't support apps on the X model does as far as I can tell this X model actually does not support clustering at all so it's always one appliance hmm anyway this is super cool this is uh, Dell EMC's new storage array for their mid-range customers and combining a lot of famous uh, well-received features from several previous uh, storage products and unifying all those in one uh, storage array is, is always uh, good news. I'm loving simplicity, I love, love hyperconvergence, and this has kind of those characteristics. So looking good. This next generation of storage arrays that vendors roll out, uh, these, are, these are seriously exciting stuff. Obviously, PowerStore is uh, competing directly against HP's Primera, 3PAR and Nimble storage arrays, also Hitachi Vandara, uh, IBM's uh, flash system, NetApp, AFF arrays, and also pure storage flash array, flash plates as well. Also, I wanted to talk about hyperconvergence. Some good news for us hyperconverged infrastructure fans here. HP just announced a couple of new features for their hyperconverged solutions. And let's start with the DHEI. Nimble storage DHEI. This aggregated hyperconverged infrastructure. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that oxymoron name, but. That's another story. Uh, anyway, a DHEI has not been available through their as a service product or concept, uh, GreenLake, but uh, now it will be. So all of you who wants to take DHEI into use um, using as a service uh, payment model, uh, you're good to go. The other one, uh, the, the second one is, is uh, quite important. Up until now, it has been only possible to construct the Nimble Storage DHEI around Generation 9 and Generation 10 ProLion DL360s and DL380s. Uh, but now they are expanding that. So the new models here are DL325, DL385, DL560 and DL580. So a couple of uh, AMD processor powered servers are coming to the picture and then the bigger DLs, the Intel DLs are, are also coming to the picture. So that's good news. So you have more choice available there. Something that I'm, I'm maybe most excited here is uh, uh, the scalability upgrade. So up until now, we have uh, had only an option to go up to 20 servers. But now that is up from 20 to 32, which is actually quite nice. With 32 nodes, you can you can run pretty much everything already. That's a huge environment, especially if you remember that you can actually use DL560s and 580s these days. So that's that's already a huge environment. Last but not least, quite important thing what comes to lifecycle management. Uh, they are introducing this one-click non-disruptive updates to DHEI. This is something we have been waiting for a long time. And this is quite crucial to hyperconverged solutions because the whole core idea of hyperconvergence is to make everything more simple. And now with this one-click upgrade, you are upgrading everything what comes to the whole stack firmwares and software updates of servers and Nimble storage and everything like that. So the whole stack is updated with one click. So perfect. This is this is a very, very welcome feature. Lastly, SimpliVity. SimpliVity uh, gets one rather interesting update. So now what they have validated uh, together with Login VSI is uh, its VDI capabilities. So one of these one rack unit simply with the 325 appliances can provenly run 300 virtual desktops. 
So 300 virtual desktops in one rack unit. And the login VSI together with HP as well tested uh, um, a configuration of six of these, one rack unit simply with the 325s, and they were stably running 1,800, 1,800 uh, desktop, uh, virtualized desktops. That's quite intense. Interesting news from Dell EMC, uh, very interesting news from HP what comes to hyperconvergence good day to be in the industry. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, hit like. And if you want more of these, subscribe. Until the next time.